Hello, my name is Birgit Schelling from Ecomedics Company. Today I would like to show you how to perform a nitrogen multiple breath washout test. Okay, we have already entered the subject's data in Spiroware software like birth date, weight and height and now we are ready to start the test. For the test itself, the patient should sit in an upright and comfortable position and the measurement setup should be positioned in a way that it can be reached easily by the subject. Two points are important for the test. First, the subject should wear a nose clip so that there's no inhalation through the nose. And second, the subject should form a tight seal around the mouthpiece and breathe normally. The complete washout test is controlled by Spiroware software. At the beginning, the software checks that breathing is regularly. Then the Exilizer D switches to 100% oxygen. Now the subject inspires pure oxygen and the nitrogen in the lung is washed out. During the washout, we can follow the progress in Spiroware software. On the left, we have the flow volume loop. The flow volume loop should close, indicating regular breathing. The green area is a visual guidance in which predicted range the subject's tidal volume should be in. Below we have the volume capnogram, where the physiological dead space is marked with a red circle. On the bottom you see the nitrogen expirogram, where the phase 3 slope can indicate a possible ventilatory disturbance in the small airways. In the center we have the flow in black and the volume in red. Below we have the nitrogen concentration, where we see that the end tidal nitrogen concentration decreases with every breath. Then the oxygen concentration and the carbon dioxide concentration. On the right side of the screen we can follow the online values. In the yellow frame we see the current end tidal nitrogen concentration and the target nitrogen concentration. The Exilizer D completes the test automatically as soon as it has recorded three breaths below target, which is typically just below 2% and tidal nitrogen. The operator should keep an eye on the quality of the washout. An ideal washout trial will have stable and regular flow and end expiratory lung volumes, continuously decreasing end tidal nitrogen concentrations and stable and tidal carbon dioxide concentrations. And of course, there should be no sign of a leak, which can be recognized by a spike in the nitrogen curve. During the washout, several quality parameters are monitored by the software and significant irregularities will be signaled by a warning message. After the trial, the operator can scroll through the washout again to check flow, volume and gas concentrations in detail. It is recommended to record two good washout trials. The countdown in the upper right corner will show when the next washout trial can be started. Now we switch to the results. The results screen is divided into the summary section, the trials section and the individual breath section. In each section it is possible to display additional parameters by clicking on the chevron. The window at the bottom displays any quality warnings which are recognized by the software. For example, if the inspiratory flow exceeds the bypass flow so that the subject breathes ambient air. The most important parameters of the washout are the functional residual capacity, FRC, and the lung clearance index, LCI, which are displayed in the summary section. After completion of the washout, you can print a report of the results. For more information, please contact us at ecomedics.com or send an email to info at ecomedics.com.